Unit Four. 쓰기 지도. 일 글쓰기 실력. You have to write neatly so that others can read your writing easily. My handwriting is really awful. Let me see. Oh, it's a bit hard to read your handwriting. Why don't you leave more spaces between the words? Like this? Yes, that's much better. 글쓰기 실력 향상 방법. How do you write a good essay? Here are some tips for good writing. It is important to make a structure. Structures in essays are just like bones in our bodies. You can write well if you have a good structure. Here are the ways to make a structure in your handouts. First of all, decide a topic. You can write the title after you finish writing your essay. Don't just say you can't write. Try to write at least one sentence. Try to make use of all the expressions you know. At first, practice with simple sentences. Use simple sentences and make your essay easy to read. Use many linking words. Practice writing longer sentences using linking words. You have to be consistent. You have to provide a lot of evidence. You have to write why you are insisting on your answer. Reading other people's work helps a lot to write good essays. Write English diaries to improve writing skills. 글씨 바르게 쓰기. Please write neatly. You have to write neatly. So that others can read your writing easily, your handwriting is good. It's hard to read your handwriting. It's very hard to recognize your handwriting. Is this letter an O or a C? Try not to scribble. Please write it on the line. Leave more spaces between the words. Could you write it bigger? Try to write it smaller. Erase it and write it again. Be careful with capital letters and small letters. It should be a small letter here. Here, change this into a capital letter. You need a period here. Don't forget to put a full stop at the end. 이 쓰기 전 활동 Before you write your essay, you have to collect data. Data? That's right, data. Use the internet, magazines, and newspapers for necessary information. Can we read the books at the back? Sure, that's a good way to collect data too. The more data you have, the more you have to write about. 자료 수집. Collect data for your essay. Gather as much information as possible on the internet. Use the internet, magazines, and newspapers for necessary information. It's important to read other books on the same topic. The more data you have, the more you have to write about. 배경 지식 활성화. Let's talk about this topic. What do you know about this topic? Tell me everything you know about this topic. Write everything about healthy life that you can think of. Please talk with your friends about the topic you are going to write about. Read this article before writing your own essay. Don't worry about grammar or spelling at this stage. 사전 학습. Let's learn some words you'll need when you write about this topic. Here are some words that you can use in your essay. Let's practice these expressions by copying them. Have a look at these two pieces of writing and tell me which one is better. Why isn't the first article a good one? 3. 통제 장문 Please fill in the blank. What's the word that goes in the blank? Clear! Correct. Did you all write clear in the gap? 
Now look at the picture and write the name of the season. Autumn. Good job. Write it down. 기초 쓰기. Now you know your ABCs. You'll learn to write them. We're going to learn to write the words we have just learned. Now let's do some writing. Have your pencils and paper ready. Please take out your pencils and notebooks. How do you write an A? Can you write it? Watch how I write it. Watch me write this word. How do you spell special? Would you like to write special on the blackboard? Come and write it on the blackboard. Please write it down in your notebooks. Did you all write it down? 베껴쓰기 Please copy this. Take down these words. Copy the sentence down. Copy the questions in your notebook. Write this expression five times. Write these sentences in the blank. Try to copy the words I write on the board. You write an A like this. Please write it down in your notebook. 단답형 및 통제 장문 Fill in the gaps. Fill in the blank with the right answer. Write down the answers. Write the answers to the questions in English. Find the answer in the passage and write it. Complete the sentence using one of the words in the box. Please choose the right sentence from the examples and write it in the blank. What's the word you have to write in the blank? What are the two words you have to write in? Did you all write clear in the gap? You have to write the answer in two words. You should have written in summer. Write down what I say. Be careful about spelling when you write. Write today's date at the upper right corner. Look at the picture and write the name of the season. For example, it's snowing in this picture. So you can write, it's winter. Sa, 반 통제 장문. Let's write some sentences using the expressions we have learned today. Here's a sample sentence. Could you please read it all together? Well done. Now, write five new sentences using this structure. Like this? Exactly. 반 통제 장문 We'll practice writing longer sentences. This time, you'll write more complex sentences. We are going to do some writing using the key structure we have learned today. Don't worry, you'll be given necessary expressions and words. Please use the expressions on the blackboard. Don't forget to write in capital letters when you start a new sentence. People's names Days of the week and months all start with capital letters. 예문을 이용한 장문 Fill in the blank using these expressions. You have to use this structure. You may use the words on the blackboard. Use the expression on the board to make a sentence. You can use the expressions we learned to write the answer. Complete the passage using the expressions in your handout. Write five new sentences by replacing subjects and verbs with new ones. I'll write down an example for you. Here are some sample sentences. Look at this sample sentence if you're not sure. 반통제 장문 활동 Complete these sentences. Read the passage and complete the chart. What can you write about this picture? Write five sentences about this picture. Can you think of five sentences? You have to write at least five sentences. Fill in the speech bubbles. Please write a sentence that can go in the speech bubble. Please write the corrected sentence again. Please describe your friend in five sentences. You may write about his height, clothes, 
hairstyle, age, and so on. Have a look at this invitation and make your own birthday party invitation. We'll practice linking two sentences with and. Would you like to write on the board how you linked the two sentences? Now you're able to link two sentences using but. We'll practice writing sentences starting with if I were. Look how wonderful a sentence Heron has made with this expression. How many sentences have you written? Please show me what you have written. O. 자유장문. Please have a pencil and two pieces of paper ready. Are we going to take a test? No, we're going to do some free composition. What are we going to write about? Anything. Choose a topic you want and write about it freely. Remember to make a structure first. 자유로운 글쓰기. Time for free composition. We're going to write an essay. Take out a blank piece of paper. Please have a pencil and two pieces of paper ready. Who doesn't have a piece of paper to write on? You can write on this paper I'm giving out now. Use one piece of paper to make a structure and the other to write your essay. Write about Korea. Let's write a poem. You can write about anything as long as it is about a trip. Choose a topic you want and write about it freely. You are free to write whatever ideas you have about this topic. Write at least 10 sentences. Write an essay of about 250 words. Use the structure you have made. Use these transition words between your sentences. It's okay to use the expressions I wrote on the blackboard. If you don't know the English expressions, raise your hand and I'll help you. This is a beautiful piece of writing. You're going to be a great writer. It's a lovely start. Keep writing. The body is great, but the introduction needs to be added. 글의 구조 만들기 First of all, make a structure for your essay. A structure should have an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. Jot down briefly what you are going to write in the introduction part. Try to make your introduction interesting. The body is the longest part of the essay. The body must include the main idea of your essay. Put your topic sentences at the beginning of each paragraph. Where's your topic sentence here? Exemplify your idea. Don't forget to give reasons for your opinion. Write as many supporting sentences as you can. Now, write your conclusion. Make your conclusion brief. In the conclusion part, write the summary of your point. 6. Email 쓰기 We're going to learn to write an email today. Do you all have an email account? Yes. Great. Then let's get started. Who are we writing to? You are going to email your parents. What do I write to them? Write how much you love them. Email 쓰기 수업 Let's write an English email. We're going to learn to write an email today. An email is an electronic mail. I believe you write a lot of emails. It's easy if you think you are writing a letter on the Internet. How often do you email your friends? You'll send an email to your friends. Pretend that you have an American friend and write an email message. Write to me about your vacation plans. Are you ready to email me? I'll send you an email and you'll reply. Now send your work through the email. Please email your homework to this email address. Attach a photo file to your email. The file is too big. Try to downsize it. I didn't get it. Please resend the message. It says your mailbox is full. Please empty your mailbox.
이메일 주소 Do you all have an email account? What's your email address? Can I have your email address? My email address is teacher at schoolemail.co.kr. If you don't have an email address, let's make one right now. It won't take long to make an email address. You can make a free email account on this website. Now you have an email address. Don't forget it. Email 쓰는 방법 Let's actually write an email on the computer. Write the email address of the person you want to send the mail to. Type in your friend's email address here. In the receivers field, you'll have to put in your friend's address. Write your email address in the senders box. Check whether you have put in your email address correctly. If you want someone else to read the email, use the CC field. Now type in the title. Make a nice title for your email. Don't forget to write a title. Now type in the things you want to say. Generally, we start with greetings first. End your email with the expressions such as regards, best wishes, sincerely, and so on. Finally, write your name and it's done. Now, press send and it's finished. All you have to do is to wait for a reply. Email etiquette There are some rules to follow when you write emails. Here are the guidelines you have to follow when you're writing an email. Let's learn about some etiquette for writing emails. Use simple and short sentences. Avoid long sentences. Use polite language. Be careful with spelling and punctuation. Use proper grammar. Reply promptly. Answer all questions. Don't attach unnecessary files. Don't write in capital letters. Don't use reply to all too often. Be careful when you use the emoticons. Don't forward spam mail. Read it again before you send it. Who keeps an English diary? I keep a diary in Korean. That's a good habit, but why don't you write it in English from now on? It's a very good way to improve your English. It's too difficult. You don't have to write it long. At first, five sentences are enough. 일기 쓰기 Keeping a diary is a good way to improve writing skills. Make it a rule to write an English diary every day. After six months, you'll see that your writing skills have improved a lot. It's very good to end your day by writing in the diary. Start by preparing a pretty diary. Think of your diary as your friend and write letters to it. You can start with, Dear Diary. You don't have to write it long. It's okay if it's short. Five sentences are enough. There's no special rule for writing a diary. You can write about anything. Write about the things you have done that day. You can also write about your plans for tomorrow. Write down your thoughts freely. Include at least two new words you have learned that day. It's good to practice the expressions you have learned in class. For example, if you have learned future tense, you could write the things you'll do tomorrow. If you want, I can give you feedback on your diaries. You can keep your diary to yourself. If you want to keep it as a secret, you don't have to show it to anyone. 감상문 쓰기 You can write how you feel. Write about how you felt. You have to write your own thoughts. Be free to write what you think about it. Try to write what you think about the movie. Write down your feelings about the poem you have just read. 
I want you to write a report on the book you have just read. Write down the things you felt in five sentences. It's not a summary. You have to write your thoughts. 보고서 쓰기 Write a report on the school trip. We're going to write a research report. Please write a report on the field trip. Please be precise. You may also add your personal thoughts. You have to write a report based on facts. Don't forget to write down the place and date. When we write a report, we list the events in order of time.